We are delighted to welcome into our studio Lucy Safro, who came through against Sloane Stevens uh, earlier today. You're through to the fourth round to meet Coco van der Wey. Hello. But uh, have you been keeping an eye on this Serena Williams match as well? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, what's your reaction to what's happening out there? Well, it's tennis. <laughs> it's tennis, anything can yeah, happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so tell us about your match today. Uh, 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 obviously, she's a rising star on the tour, a tough opponent, but uh, you came through it. Yeah, and so now, well, so we've got some shots of you uh, <laughs> winning the match here, Lucy, but uh, what was the game plan today? Yeah, Sloan, it was a tough match. Sloan is a good player. She improved lately a lot, so I knew it. Uh, I have to play really well today, and I started a little bit slower today, and she was just uh, going for her shots, serving really well, and I was uh, one step uh, late there, so that's uh, after losing first set. I well, really was concentrated to step up the game, play right away more aggressive, even if I would do a couple mistakes to try to pressure her and uh, I think the momentum was when uh, I kept the service game I had like a overhead running there passing cross court shot which was uh, uh, quite an interesting point okay. but uh, then I broke her right away and the momentum of the match shifted on my side yeah and of course it's so incredibly windy here today so how were you coping with the wind out there it's pretty windy more windy here than down there on the really? board yeah but uh, you have to judge both for uh, same for both players. So obviously, from one side, it's always harder than from the other. But uh, um, yeah, I was trying to yeah. stay aggressive against the wind. Yeah. What is the key to playing in wind? Is it to try and hit through the ball, or is it to try and use the wind to your advantage, or put more spin on the ball? What, uh, what is the key to playing well? Well, if you play with the wind, the key is uh, to move your feet and to really keep swinging because mm. once. It's kind of uh, going away from you, and once you stop, you usually miss the shot. So, and against the wind, you can just swing fully. And uh, of course, if there is a side wind, you can a little bit use it. You have to count with it. Yeah. So yeah. it's a little tricky, but. Um, uh, I remember Petra with us saying, oh, it's windy, you just have to think more. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I like that sentence. Yeah. Yeah, use the wind to your advantage. Yeah, I think, exactly. I think yeah. really good players, I think, I don't know if you hope for wind, but you nearly hope for win because you, you think you can deal with it better. But uh, I'm interested in 6-1 in the third set against Sloane Stevens. What exactly happens there? Because Sloane Stevens is playing great. Yeah, I got a uh, right away a break first yeah. game and uh, got a lead 2-1 uh, and then kept like the break. And then she a little bit dropped and uh, I just kept pressuring her. And at the end, I felt like she was uh, trying to overhit a little mm. bit and I was just keeping the ball in and it just went so quick. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's your personal explanation to what's happening in your tennis career lately? My personal, I really, uh, I've been working hard as usual but uh, I think everything is like clicking together finally. Uh, luckily I'm healthy mm. uh, which was uh, my problem in my early um, career. I was so injured and um, it's hard to come back always. Uh, then uh, obviously my coach helped me a lot and um, I'm uh, so much more enjoying tennis right now because I feel like um, uh, it can end every year, you never know. And um, yeah. getting older, being more matured, I really just go out there and have fun. And uh, uh, I'm not uh, as nervous as I as used to be. So I think those are the keys that... Uh, and what about the uh, double playing that was with Bethany Matic Sands? Had, mm -hmm. Has that helped your singles? Because you can't have more fun than that, I would think. Yeah, true. <laughs> we are having a lot of fun. And uh, of course, it did help uh, as well. I think uh, to play doubles and uh, to work on uh, my volleys there. And uh, obviously, uh, having those great results, winning uh, Australian Open at the beginning of the year gives you a lot of self-confidence as well. So uh, I think uh, that was also a big part of it. Yeah, you talked about, you know, you were very injured at the start of your career. Have you been able to manage those injury problems? Have you changed your training? Have you got involved with a different physio? How have you actually managed to, to sort of control that uh, aspect? Yeah, I actually, um, like, it's been like now four years that I'm working with uh, my fitness coach and um, he is also a physio, so he... Um, completely changed my routine and everything and uh, I got much fitter. I used to be really skinny so I got more muscles and uh, uh, just um, helped me together with like 
uh, not being as injured. Yeah, so is that what having a stronger physique has helped that? Because Matt and I, I think we're always so, discussing. Because, uh, I think uh, when you get, it's hard to find a balance uh, where it's. Uh, uh, not to be too skinny because mm. then you don't have the power, the power. and mm. uh, also with the traveling and everything mm -hmm. together yeah. it's exhausting for the body so you need to have a little bit reserve of yeah. uh, uh, being but not to be also too uh, chubby then yeah. you are slower on the yes. court so yes. you have to, to find a little thing. balance yeah. where to be just fit <laughs> yeah and what about nutrition how much does that play a part in your mm. life i think nowadays because uh, tennis is very tough competition Every little piece plays a part and nutrition is uh, obviously a big part of it because uh, uh, it can change your en energy level and uh, if you're doing good on your nutrition, um, you're lasting longer in the matches as well and everything. So it's it's a big part and it's very popular now. Yeah. Also the gluten-free diet and uh, you can you find about... I'm not actually okay. because I don't have to luckily, but... Uh, I'm. Uh, I have my cousin is a nutritionist, so oh. she's helping me a little bit with my plan and. Uh uh, yeah. What's so your perfect meal ahead of a match then? Uh, it's just plain pasta Is usually. It? It's very oh, boring. Okay. So you're more of a <laughs> carbohydrate girl. Yeah. Well, okay, because everyone has something different. I always see Nadal. He's always having like a piece of salmon and some uh, I think, uh, you know, olive oil uh, on the top. Nowadays, you can find a lot about uh, your allergies and everything. They do those testings, so you exactly know which uh, uh, which food is good for you and which you should avoid. So then you know the perfect uh, choices. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, last question. We don't want to keep you too long. Coco Vandeweghe in the next round. Mm. How do you match up against her? And what, I think what's we never the never played, and uh, she beat Carolina in the uh, second round. Mm -hmm. I think was it. Mm -hmm. So she's a good player. She's uh, especially on grass. She's serving big and going for her shots. Uh, has a better backhand. So. Um, I never uh, played a match, so I have to a little bit ask around and obviously talk to my coach. But I, I think I will just play my game and, as usual, enjoy and uh, have fun out there and try to win. And well, we really look forward to it. Thank you so much for coming up to see us and uh, best of luck in the next one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very much.